singing Five Nights at Freddy's by Living Tombstone. Hey, it's Jack Black. Just so you know, man. Um, so, yeah, this is a tutorial. I'll have a friend joining us later. His name is Terrence Ellie. Well, he changed his name to Jonah to the game. Jo I can't speak right now. Jack, shut up. Please. Thank you. Alright. First, I recommend having, like, uh, editing software or a friend that knows how to edit photos and everything. And then photo shoot out a game with, like, characters to make a thumbnail for the game. I'll do a tutorial on that in one of these episodes. Um, build the map. If you have the map built and everything, maybe you can see some tutorials on, like, good map building. What I usually do is I just, um, this is my layout when I play a blockade. I usually have something like that. Uh, I usually make this just a bit darker. Uh, I go to plastic and I use, where is it? Where is it? I... Marble. I th yeah, marble. I use this for checkered floor. I also customize the black a bit, just so it's like that. Anyways, so, um, there are two ways you can make a door system, so I'm gonna focus on door systems for this episode. So, if you want a door system, you're gonna need a bit of space behind the hallway. So what you're gonna do is get your wall color, like, uh, cup your wall color, I'll just grab concrete, alright. So what you're gonna do is you're going to do however many across you want. You can do that, and then you're gonna want to make a small one, whatever side you want, it doesn't matter. And this is where your button's going to be, okay? So, what you're basically going to do with this... Hold on. Alright, I'll just start off with the uh, simple one. So, let me... Get... Alright. So, first, you're going to take a pillar. So, you're going to take a cube pillar. It doesn't matter what type of pillar. You can change it to whatever type of color you want or anything. I usually go the red neon, and you're gonna place it in that hole. And then you're gonna search through the shapes and do edge inner quadrant. It might take a bit to find it, but um, it's there. <laughs> so what you're gonna do is you're gonna place this here. You're gonna make this invisible after, but uh, that's besides the point for right now. So what you're gonna do is Canon 5 hide decals and you're gonna try and glitch no, all right not glitch but all right so you see the buttons here but it's not coming out because of this so you're able to push the button in and everything and uh now that we have that that bed dad can't speak now that we have that down, what you're going to do is you're going to place a block behind here, and then you're going to get a cube, you're going to do that, and then you're going to do M-Telly, and then put this in the middle of your doorway, wherever you want the, so the M-Telly, this is your basically your door. So what you're going to do is you're going to see this, and then once you push the button in, the block goes out. And then you can put door decals on this. You can get somebody with VIP to help you with that. Um, yep. Yeah. And to close it, there are probably a few different methods that you can find, but what I like to do is I like to put, like, an invisible wall behind it or put the block behind it and do... Alright. And Kelly... And 
make it teleport back to here. So you can see when you push the block back, it teleports back to its original position. So what you're able to do is you're able to push this button back, it teleports there, push it back, and then it teleports back here. And uh, you're also able to do like movable respawn, so the door opens every like 30 seconds or something like that. But I don't really like to do that. I have like a Five Nights at Freddy's fan game game series on Block 8 called Five Nights at Joey's. You can go check those out. Anyways. Um, so this is one of the ways you can make a door system. But I'll show you a better way right now. Alright. So you should get... I want it to be symmetrical. Alright. One, two, three, there. Alright, so what you do is you place the three blocks again. It's basically the same process, except instead of placing a full block here, you do this. And then you do... Cannon 5. And then you place a normal block. So then... This is so you don't have to place this here. And by the way, just make this invisible if you're using this method. But anyways, this method's better because it kind of fixes itself. Because sometimes people be annoying, like spam this and they push it back. Let me try and let me try and get it back there. Sometimes people will spam it back there. I, and as you can see, it's kind of stuck right now because it's not on a cannon block. But what you can do is you can try and push it back in there. But you'll have to do that constantly if people keep doing that. So what you're going to do is you are going to basically do the same format. So, boop, 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 boop. Alright, so you have the same... Let me just fix that. Alright, so, you have this here, you're going to... Basically, do the same thing as you did before. So, do this except... I don't know if I'm doing... Oh, okay, I think I did it right. So, as you can see, you don't really need to... I don't know who this is. So, as you can see here... Okay, then. <laughs> Let me just scare him off with some music. <laughs> Alright, anyways, so... As you can see, it's kind of broken here. I don't know how that happens. Let me redo it. Stop, please. All This is on a half block. Let me read just read this whole thing. So Why do people keep joining? Alright, these guys are just being annoying, man. Yes. Okay. Alright, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna do that, that, that. 
Alright, so then what you do, take the small one and then you take that and then you're just going to place a block here. So it's on the slab one, so it's like that, alright, what we're going to want to do is did I mess it up again yes I did all right let me let me fix that real quick technical difficulties sorry about that Alright, so what you're going to do, you're going to take a full block, place that there, you're going to delete this slab, cannon 5, and then what you're going to do is you're going to place the slab back, and then you're going to get the pillar option, take that, again it has to be a cube pillar like this, so what you're going to do is you're going to place this here and as you can see there's nothing holding it in front but that's because there's this slab here and it doesn't have cannon but this one in the back has cannon if that makes sense so it basically fixes itself if it gets pushed back there so you're basically gonna repeat the same process you're just going to get your block you're going to place your block in the back here and every time you're pushing the button, well, it's not doing anything because I haven't. Now, let me place that there. So, as you can see, block teleported. M Telly. And put that back there. Push it into there. Alright. This is kind of weird. Alright push all right it's kind of broken right now I don't know what's happening um I don't know how I broke it possibly I just made it let me it's teleporting back I think it's just the problem is it's kind of sticking it let me let me make it better all right do that M Telly and have the M Telly lead to I don't know, I'm just having trouble with this. Um What? <laughs> Alright, uh hopefully you don't have trouble with this. For some reason I am right now though, but um I'll just make this thing invisible real quick here. And as you can see, it doesn't look like it's there at all. So you press that, that goes back there. And then, there we go. All right, so that works. Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video for uh, episode 1 on the Five Nights at Freddy's Blockade Game Tutorial. Please leave a like and subscribe, hit that notification bell to be notified of all my videos, I'm a single one, and uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!